It's gadget class time. Today we're taking a look at an eye gauging digital micrometer. This is their Easy Mic. This is more of their entry level digital micrometer. Just like on the digital calipers, if you watch my digital caliper roundup videos, you see that they put out uh, a product geared more towards the uh, entry level or everyday shop use environment, as well as a product geared more towards the um, upper level or uh, um, more professional level uh, environment as well. Um, so this is their more entry level version. And on this version, what they did is they, they got rid of the whole vernier scale, which actually reduces the, the size and weight of the caliper quite a bit. You don't have that heavy metal mass that's uh, really weighing the, the micrometer down. By getting rid of that all that metal, um, you have a, a much lighter micrometer, much easier to handle, and uh, you end up with uh, only a digital measurement capability. But if you're using a digital micrometer anyways, you're not really ever going to use the manual mode. Because that digital mode actually goes down to the hundred thousandths decimal place, or half of a ten thousandths, um, you're not really going to be using your vernier scale anyways. You're going to be using the display. And uh, digital micrometers are actually easier to zero out as well. There's no spanner wrenches involved. Um, pretty much takes all that manual mode out of the equation. and puts it all into an electronic mode. Um, now you hardcore guys, you're probably going to want to step up and go with their IP65 full vernier capable digital micrometer or go another step higher and they have one that has a, a spindle that doesn't rotate and a snap lock, um, all that jazz. But for the entry level market, you can get this for a great price. Um, and compared to uh, like a Michitoyo or a Starrett, um, it does everything that uh, the higher end digital micrometers will do. It just doesn't have the fancy measuring apparatus on it. So really, it's a, a really great entry level product. So let's show you what you get in the box. You get your uh, digital micrometer, you get your basic instruction manual, you get an extra battery. It does use the CR2032 battery. That's a bonus for me. I like those batteries. You get your uh, ball adapter. This allows you to measure the thickness of pipes or anything with a, a curved surface. And you get your uh, little fancy tool here. That kind of undoes the battery compartment. Uh, the data cable is sold separately. It does have data output. Um, I'll show you that in a minute here. So in terms of function, it functions the same way as the higher end ones and uh, pretty much every digital micrometer out there. You've got your basic on off switch. It does auto turn itself off after a period of inactivity. This button when held down also sets your absolute zero point. So make sure you're cleaning these faces properly and make sure you're, you're getting your good zero. Watch my video in the digital caliper uh, roundup series of videos. The second video shows um, how to properly clean your micrometer faces and how to properly use a micrometer. Um, so make sure you got those clean, set your absolute zero point, and from there you're good to go. Um, you can come out here, you can uh, press this button to set increment measurement. Now you're measuring in relationship to that spot. Press it again to go back to absolute zero. Pretty simple, straightforward design. If you hold down this button, it switches between inches and millimeters. In terms of overall build quality, um, it is a full metal body. Both the anvil and the spindle have carbide face tips. And that's, that's kind of a common feature these days, but it is uh, good to note that that's a, that's a desirable feature. It keeps uh, the faces from deform deforming or wearing over time, keeps you from getting little nicks or scratches in the faces which are going to lead to inaccurate measurements. So carbide tipped uh, anvil and spindle. Pretty smooth all around. There's no grittiness, there's no uh, lack of smoothness at all. The plastic uh, encased around the metal body kind of helps helps with the feel, keeps it from feeling cold in your hand, um, kind of helps to feel nice and soft. Uh, there's no sharp edges anywhere, there's no cheap uh, plastic lines anywhere. Pretty well uh, designed and engineered all around. You've got your standard uh, friction lock. Uh, and in terms of uh, ratchet stop, they are using a ratchet, not a friction stop. 
And the ratchet is built into the larger thimble, not the outside thimble. Um, you can use the, the smaller one for smaller movements, um, but I find it better just to use the, the big one for everything. It actually fits really well in your hand. Just put your pinky through the hole like that, and uh, it kind of, it's kind of uh, much more ergonomic and easier to handle than the, the heavier metal ones. Heavier metal ones feel more solid, but it is heavier. It's kind of got a weight to it. This whole metal mass up here and the extra mass of metal around the electronics kind of add to the weight quite a bit. So this one has more of a hand feel to it. It's uh, much smoother and more ergonomic in my eyes. So, uh, ratchet stop. Uh, that ensures that you have the same amount of force every single time on your measuring surface. And it does have the SPC data cable uh, capability. And I'll show you some of that in a minute here. Um, not much that can go wrong on one of these. Um, as long as you're keeping your faces clean and you set your zero every time, um, it's not really going to go out of calibration. Yeah, all you need to do is set your zero and you're good to go. So overall it's a good entry level digital micrometer. Uh, I don't really have any complaints and I like the, the lack of uh, bulk to it. I kind of like that it's easier to handle than some of the other ones. This one would be good to use out in the shop. Um, this would be good, to, be good to use in an environment where um, you might be afraid to get the other one uh, dirty or you might be afraid of dropping it or ruining a higher dollar micrometer. So um, that's it for this. Let's go into some data entry. I've just got a spreadsheet open up there and we're just going to open up the SPC door here. Plug our cable in, like so. Then you want to find your zero. That's always important. We're going to find our zero over here. So we're at zero there. We're our absolute origin is set there. We're going to go ahead and zero out the cable. And I'm going to go ahead and switch it over into inch mode. So now all we do is press the data button, and it will input data into our spreadsheet. So we just select a field there, press the button, and there's our zero. Now let's come out. Let's find uh, something in the half a thousand trains there. And we're in millimeter mode, so let's switch back over. And there we go. It's that simple. It's uh, really straightforward. It uses a standard HID device driver. Um, nothing lacking in driver. You don't need fancy drivers. You're not going to have trouble you know, finding a driver for it because Windows detects it as a, almost a mouse or keyboard driver automatically installs the drivers and you're good to go. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, and this would be good if you're measuring like a box of parts and uh, you have to do a lot of data entry. It's just going to go right into your spreadsheet, right into your Word doc, right into your CAD program. Whatever you're doing, it just enters it right in. You could be doing the same thing in you know, a text file or anything. So really all around a, a good entry level digital caliper. Um, not much I can say bad about it. You know, the the plastic might make it look a little bit uh, less professional, but I I find that it actually helps with the design and the feel. Um, you know, they could have made this all out of metal, but that would have added to the weight, and uh, I don't think it would have improved upon the design. So for the lower end of the market, I think they did a pretty good job with this. You know, you can always spend. Uh, a little bit more and get the, the medium grade or the their their best of the best grade and still be far less than the Mitutoyo or the Starrett of the same quality and accuracy. So make sure you watch all the other videos in the Precision Measurement Instrument Instrument uh, series of videos and uh, make sure you check out the video on proper use, care, and cleaning of a micrometer and caliper. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.